When I get rich, where I'm running, ain't up. Staying humble, cause life ain't get tough. All of my enemies say you remember me. You wasn't there for me. When I was down and I was out and I was on my knees. Now you're the one in need, but don't you come for free. What's up, y'all? Ash here. I'm back. First things first, don't mind my eyes. If y'all don't know me, I got crazy ass allergies. And if it ain't obvious, it's killing me right now. But what's up, you guys? I haven't seen y'all in mad long. That's my fault, obviously. I had a lot going on. Uh, family events, etc., etc. I'm still injured. Whatever. Excuses are excuses. But I'm back, y'all. I'm back here for another one for you guys. And... Before I get too deep into this message, what I'm about to tell y'all, I want to pray for everybody in Canada right now. This wildfire is crazy. Um, everybody ha that has been affected outside of Canada, in Canada, period. Be careful, you guys out there. It's crazy. Be careful what you're breathing. Close your windows. Well, like I said, yeah, look how crazy it is outside right now. Right now. Y'all, it's yellow outside. It is yellow outside. I don't know if you can see that. But y'all. Praise up to you guys, okay? Now, onto the topic. The genie in the bottle mentality and the narcissist. Now, this is something I like to call genie in the bottle mentality. I don't know if that's something that actually exists already, but this is something that I like to say, right? So, the genie in the bottle mentality. So, everybody know, you sh or at least you should know, what a genie in a bottle is. Basically, you know, what it is. Genie in a bottle, genie, you rub the... You rub the bottle, you rub the genie in the bottle, genie pops out, gives you three wishes or whatever, right? But the reason why I call this a mentality for the narcissist is because it's like the equivalent for me, how I put it together, the equivalent to love bombing, right? So now, first before I explain what the genie in the bottle is, let me explain to you what love bombing is in case you don't know. So, love bombing is basically what somebody does to, you know, whomever, it doesn't have to be, uh romantic relationship it could be platonic but it's basically a tactic that someone does to keep you around to keep you coming to manipulate you right so example say right now i'm cheating on you right i'm cheating on you i'm treating you bad i'm lying to you i'm basically not making you happy this is relationship wise i'm not making you happy and um i don't want you to leave i don't want you to leave um I want you to stay for me, obviously, because I'm, I'm getting everything that I can out of you. So what I'll do is I'll do the things that you're asking for. Or I'll do the things that I know you'll like. Or I'll just do romantic things, like example, like I'll get you some flowers. Or I'll make you some food. Or I'll tell you I love you. I'll tell you you're beautiful. Or I'll take you shopping. Or I'll buy you something. Not, whatever the case. You know, things of that nature, right? A lot of the times it's something that is tangible. So, um... I'll do that for you and it's all just to make you think that hey I heard you I understand what you're saying um, I'm changing now and I'm gonna show you that I'm changing now the problem with this is, is why it's love bombing is because it's not consistent it is not I'm actually changing it is basically just saying ah, all right I'm gonna give you what you want which is you want you want more hugs? I'm gonna give it to you. You want more me to buy more bags for you? I'll give it to you. You want me to buy you two K every year? I'll I'll buy you two K this year. Or you want me to buy you some sneakers? I'll buy you some sneakers. But a week, two weeks, a couple months, how that's gone. And I'm gonna go right back to exactly what I was doing before. I'm gonna go right back to lying to you. I'm going to go right back to cheating on you. I'm going to go right back to treating you the exact way I was treating you in the first place of why you wanted to leave me or why you wanted me to change in the first place why because like I said earlier manipulation now to the genie in the bottle mentality like I'm gonna rub you up I'm gonna tell you I love you I'm gonna caress you I'm gonna tell you everything you want to hear do everything you want to do you know with the genie in the bottle you rub them up right and when you rub up the genie in the bottle the genie in the bottle gives you what you want the wishes right and the wishes for you is what to stay the wishes for you is to what? Do better. The wishes to you is to what? Treat me right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said before, it is all love bombing. It is all manipulation. It's not going to be consistent with me. I'm just going to simply say, okay, 
You want me to tie your shoes? You want me to open the door for you? You want me to... Big or small things. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to do this for you, okay? I'm going to give you what you want. But it's not going to last. Because I'm just going to get you to the point where you're comfortable enough to say, Okay, yes, maybe she is changing. Maybe she's doing better. Maybe she heard me. She's doing well. But guess what? Blink of an eye. I'm going to go right back. I'm going to revert, I'm going to revert right back to what I was doing. And it's going to be a continuous cycle. See, but one thing that they don't realize, they as in the narcissist, they feel like this genie in the bottle thing, I can just, you know, use one of my wishes to wish for more wishes. And I'm going to just keep going. Wish for more wishes and more wishes and more wishes. But what they fail to realize is, once those three wishes is out, you can't, you can't, with people, you can't ask for, um... A grant of more wishes you can't it's not gonna work like that once you get your three wishes that's it but they feel like they can have unlimited chances unlimited wishes unlimited tries unlimited turns they feel like the manipulation games that they have and that they're able to do and they just so macho macho and egotistical with it and sh he ain't going nowhere I can just do whatever I want he gonna do what I want, when I want. All I gotta do is buy him new sneakers. All I gotta do is buy him a new system. All I gotta do is buy him this. All I gotta do is rub his feet. All I gotta do is make him food. All I gotta do is rub him up. All I gotta do is, you know, like, they feel like that's unlimited because time and time again, you have you came back, you forgave, um, you accepted those promises, the lies, the manipulation, and it's gotten to a point to where it's a cycle. And they, once they got you in that cycle, I wouldn't say it's over, but to them, to them, it's over. Because it's like, okay, you're in that cycle now. You're going to continue to just accept my apologies. You're going to continue to just accept my gifts. So I'm going to keep doing the same things over and over again. Once you get to the point to where you're sick and tired, I'm just going to do, once again, what you want me to buy you? You want me to rub your feet again? You want me to, like, what you want me to, what? Want another video game? You want a PC set up? What you want? I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you call me cheating this time. Yes, I had... Relations with that dude, da, da 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 Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, what you want? And that's their mindset. And they feel like they can just do this all the time, unlimited, with no repercussions whatsoever. But what they fail to realize is there are consequences to every action. Now, what your job is to do is to stick to what you're saying. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Because once you are in the mindset of you're not actually doing what you say you're doing they're not going to believe you and they're not going to change they probably won't they're not they probably won't change anyway but they for damn sure not going to change if you just continue to say i'm going to leave you i'm going to find another woman or man whoever you are whatever gender you are whatever gender you mess with whatever i'm going to find somebody else that loves me better i'm going to die if you keep saying that over and over again like i said you trapped in that cycle of saying and doing the same shit you keep saying and doing the same shit guess what they're gonna do say and do the same shit so like like i said your job is to number one say what you mean what you mean what you say number two accountability because they can only do things to you that you allow they can only say things to you that you allow so as much as you're allowing them to do these things to you whether it's deception backstabbing whatever and then taking them back because they said they're sorry or they bought you that new Chanel bag. That's on you. Sir, ma'am, I'm sorry to tell you. Not really sorry to tell you because you need to hear it. So, like I said, first things first. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Second thing, take accountability for your part in things. Third, act. And be serious on it. Make your decision. And whatever your decision is, whether it's maybe you know what, maybe I want to stick it out. I'm going to stick beside him. That's my man, I'm going to stick beside him. That's my woman, I'm going to stick beside her. Cool, that's your decision. Or, I can't take this no more. I know my worth. I'm not doing this. This is not what I want in life. Um, I'm going to go find somebody else. Cool, but stick to it. Don't say that. And then turn around and be like, well, you know, I love him. Oh, you know, I love her. And maybe they'll change. Once you put yourself in that mindset, first of all, you've changed, scratched that. You've already been in that mindset. But once you, yourself keep yourself in that mentality in that mindset of oh i love him i love her maybe they'll change you'll be stuck forever and you'll just keep you'll just be in that cycle continuous cycle is going to keep going so know your worth say what you mean what you say take that accountability and act on it whatever decision that may be but stand 10 toes on it you have to stand 10 toes so with that being said you guys that genie in the bottle mentality 
is what they gonna be on question is what you gonna be on are you gonna accept that behavior are you going to know your worth and move on what are you going to do that is the question of the day okay with that being said i hope i helped you in any sort of way make sure you like comment share subscribe before you go thank y'all so much i appreciate y'all and i'll see y'all in the next one bye